sitting here with Jason White, Sierra Metal Fabricators in Nevada City. We're looking at his UHF table, separating the fine gold out for us. We brought down here in a bucket some minus 200. What's the minus 100? Minus 100 to 200. Minus 100 to 200. It will vibrate like you're going to see with a coin we just put on here. All the gold comes to the top, flows out, we got three troughs to separate everything out from black sand, the copper, the silver, the gold, whatever you want to do. Yeah, there's a lot of play in that water. Well, it's, over it's, here. Yeah, it's, it's, it's desert. I mean, it, it's, it's desert. Well, that's a good test. It shows that everything's cool. Awesome table. You can watch the gold just climb all the way to the top and come right down and drop off this chute into the center hole. We have three different classifications where you can set up three different types of metals for whatever you got going on. We're using two, but it's the first pass. We got our gold coming down one, we got our black sand coming down the other. We brought a real nasty, nasty sample, you know, dry wash with lots of clay in it to see what it would do. And nothing you can do to, to stop this table from working properly. You can't see it on the camera because the particles are minus 100 bands. But the gold is just being brought. You can watch it just come all the way down the top and drop right in and go into our concentrate bucket. Beautiful machine. We have an advertisement in the ICMJ, the International California Mining Journal. You can pick one up there or you can give, you know, give them a call. So here's your black sand and that nice muddy water we created with all the clay we brought up here from the desert to check it out. And the gold just comes right down this, this little table right here, dropping off the main table, dropping into here with a little bit of black sand. And it'll have to be run twice because it's, it's minus 100 to 200. And so we're getting a lot of particles that are minus, minus 200, minus 300 that you can see in our concentrates. But you can see the gold at the very top. They just stopped right here, where the, most of the black sands continue going down. I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but there's gold all through here, just sitting here. So below 400, you said just smooth surface. Oh, you don't. You don't Okay, you can see our gold over here in the corner. What's coming off there? It's, it's, this is minus 100 to whatever, 400. Um, like I said, we brought in a real nasty sample full of clay. Um, 
a lot of this is magnetic sands. We haven't magnetized it yet because it's easier to put through the table first. It's easier to go through the, uh, later and get your magnetite out the second time and run it through a second time and get your gold nice and clean. So this still is, the, is your gold, um, your habitite, and your magnetite. You know, the copper and everything else is still in there. But for the first pass on the, on the real nasty sample we brought in, you can see it's, it's pulling all the gold out. It's got it separated real well. There's just a little bit out of what we got. I took the hose and put it in the, the gold pan for a few seconds. And just for a sample so I can show you exactly what's going on here. So what are the uh, current requirements anyway? I mean, how much, uh, how many uh, horsepower and then the sump is about maybe half or whatever it is, whatever comes you happen to use. Okay. So if you could run this. If you could run this horsepower, you can take that in. Okay, we're sitting here where it comes off the vibrating, going into the vibrating table, right here, and the gold collects up here towards the top, and you can see it up in there. Oh, is it sitting there? Or your, yeah, your silver. Well, I'll see your nice little piece over there. Show how it goes up to the top. See how it brings the gold and all the silver right straight up to the very top. That's right where all the gold is sitting. bringing the gold across, the last one got stuck on the table. It won't come across on its own because it's too heavy. You can see it up there with the naked eye, but you just can't see it with the camera. Not with the amount of clay that we had in this water. To give you an idea, I'm going to pan down and let you look at this. And look how muddy that is. When we came in here and started out, Jason had it all clean with nice clean water with a little bit of jet dry in there. And this is the, the crap that we turned it into. This is the this is the mess that we turned this his table into. Just nothing but mud and nastiness and what a great way to do a sample. You come in here and put it to the full test. And I have nothing but praises to say about Jason and his equipment. Once again, this is Jason White with uh, Sierra Metal Fabricators that you're looking at right here in the, in the video, doing the final cleanup. The man's very dedicated to his work. You can look for him in the ICMJ. So it's water pressure and 
slope, is it? Is it mostly it can be changing the slope to the slope. Okay, so yeah, you you want to Yeah, there's different widths of trays, and those are all supplied with the table. 